Keith. Oh, hold on. Hello, everybody out there in streaming land. It's Saturday night. That means it's time for the little SOB Jamboree. My name's Chuck Mead. This is Martin Linz and Mark Andrew Miller with Cowboy Keith shaking behind the camera. All right, here we go. Way down in the valley of the fever in the hills of Tennessee where we're sifting through that asphalt barnyard looking for that B by B. Cause we sleep all day, we play all night Man, it ain't no lie But we can't tell what day it is It just seems like one long Saturday night Well, it's something in the water Or something in the air Or something to the mephagees On that street down there we sleep all day, we play all night Man, it ain't no lie But we can't tell what day it is It just seems like one long Saturday night Well, you know I ain't got nothing Thirteen bucks won't buy But when I give me a little money, baby I'm gonna take me a little ride well, six more nights of my time, I'll take six months more. I'll keep taking whatever it takes till I can't take no more. Well, that lonesome ghost is a call me, but one day I have to fight. To the night, just to keep on running through my one long Saturday night. In the hills of Tennessee Where we're sifting through that asphalt barnyard Looking for that B by B Cause we sleep all day, we play all night Man, it ain't no lie But we can't tell what day it is It just seems like one long Saturday night Well, it seems like one long Saturday night Seems like one long Saturday night Well, the name is Blue 
and she's easy to find if you ever want to try. Up on the handle of that old big dipper, there's a big berry in the sky. A big berry in the sky. Well, the big pack people chase her all year long, and when the autumn passes by, they snap her and they trap her as she falls to earth. A big berry in the sky. A big berry in the sky. They start that chase all over again oh, with the big berry in the sky. A big berry in the sky. The stars above, you see a big berry in the sky. A big berry in the sky. The 
summer heat I could still see your face from a window seat I was so happy to see your crooked smile of relief But after miles and miles of that highway's drone I hear the last thing you said when we were all alone There's only one thing you got wrong with you It ain't the whole world looking at you Why don't you find yourself a life that's real Too lazy to work Too nervous to steal to say hello to all you happy people out there. We hope you're doing well on this Saturday evening or Saturday night, depending on what part of the world you're in. Well, I spend all day loading widgets down at your warehouse. And I spend all night trying to be better than I Never enough to do the best that I can See ya Wouldn't want to be ya Whoa, life's getting tougher And I don't know if I'm that strong So long I got to be moving on Your corporate Kool Aid and your meager bonuses can only take a man so far. Sometimes, though, I wonder if it's worth all the sweat and fury. I guess it all depends on how high you say it. Another Saturday night, a little SOB Jamboree. Thank you for joining us. Um, we got a lot of fun in store for you tonight. This is a special, I think we advertised it. I hope somebody saw it, that this is a very special crossover episode with the Heartland Hootenanny, which is hosted by Catch Secor of the Old Crow Medicine Show, a very dear friend. He will be joining us later, and then when we're done and they start their show, at 7 o'clock, then I will make a guest appearance on the Heartland. It's like uh, Hooter. It's like Hooterville. It's like, it's like Hooter, when it's Jed like, Clampett goes over to see Sam Drucker's place. That's right. 
Because yeah. that happened. And uh, Petticoat Junction. I can't remember where that fits. And where Well, it? it's all Petticoat Junction. Hooterville and Bug Tussle, I think, are very close together somehow. Well, I would imagine so since Jed's popping into Drucker's place. So, but <laughs> I, I love it. I love it how uh, Mr. Drysdale has become so demented by Jed Clampett's money by that time. By the, those are later episodes of, uh, for, for all you kids that are keeping track out there. Later episodes of the Beverly Hillbillies where they go to Silver Dollar City and all that. Um, he, he's become so greedy and so consumed by Jed Clampett's millions that he actually ends up riding in a Model T Ford with a bear at one point. Drysdale, because he thinks Sam Drucker is like the kingpin of Hooterville. Thinks that he owns everything, you know. In the world of Hooterville, I am Sam Drucker. That's, <laughs> I identify with him. Aren't, aren't we all? His fingers are in a lot of pies. A lot of pies. But anyway, we're broadcasting on uh, YouTube and Facebook tonight, so you could join us on either platform. We hope you have some requests. Are there any requests? By who requested that? Oh, shit, man. Can we do that? I can say shit. We'll find that out. This isn't like network TV or anything. No. We can't because remember it blew all the papers last time? Don't you remember? Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at this. Jim Klein's watching. Nice. Thanks, Jim. Glad you're feeling better, bud. I love that guy. Okay, well, we're going to try to do this. It's on our latest record called Close to Home on Plowboy Records. You can look it up. And we want to throw out uh, Get Well to Ben Ewing of Plowboy Records, who had a major operation like earlier tore this his week. back clean open. By yes, the it was, it's a very ugly picture. But, you know, and he's pretty ugly anyway, but he's a great guy. I love him. Uh, anyway, Get Well, Ben. I hope you're watching, and I hope they gave you the good drugs, man, because <laughs> I know you like that. Um, keep your grandkids out of them. Two, three, and Billy doesn't know he's bad. Billy doesn't know he's bad. Everything he done made sense to him. Billy doesn't know he's bad. Well, he lies and he cheats and he robs and he kills. If he don't take it, somebody else. Throw a punch at the smallest slide And leave it there bleeding in the pale moonlight Billy doesn't know he's bad Billy doesn't know he's bad Everything he done made sense to Swiss 
Someday he'll break free Billy doesn't know he's bad People say Billy died on the run Never understood by anyone Billy thought everyone thought like him Billy doesn't know he's bad But your salvation is another sin Billy doesn't know he's bad Billy doesn't know he's bad Billy doesn't know he's bad, know he's bad. Everything he done made sense to him all the way through that one, boys. He's bad meeting bad. I don't know. Um, we've had a lot of fun during this whole quarantine era. We're dying to get back out and play for people live, though. Um, and it shows because, really, the more we do of these, kind of the drunker we get. Is that true? No, I'm actually getting really uh, uh, getting my shit together. Oh, yeah, good. Yeah. Good. I'm talk well, I guess that's just me then. No, that's what I'm telling myself. <laughs> I, I was just kind of getting accustomed we sound to the great. fact that we can talk to people uh, without them actually talking back to us. <laughs> <laughs> what a gift. What a gift. <laughs> no, really. No. Oh, Susan Ricks wants to hear a honky tonk hardwood floor. I know that one. I think we can do that. And I love me some Susan Ricks, don't you? Well, the cockles are quaking, the guitars are shaking, and the band plays a jelly roll. And the man on the drums is far from dumb, and the bass man plays from his soul. And the girls are shaking, and your body's quaking. You keep on begging for more. You keep on having your fun, you lucky son of a gun on the honky tonk hardwood floor. Son of a gun on the honky tonk hardwood floor. There's a waitress handy and she don't sell candy, she don't sell soda pop. There's a hat bartender who was there to serve you if you really want to blow your top. Keep on having your fun, you lucky 
son of a gun on the honky tonk car we flew. Yeah. 
Now is the time of the show where we tell everybody that we are working in the kind benevolence of you, the listening and viewing audience. We have PayPal, we have Venmo, and you can make a contribution on my website, which is chuckmead.com, all of which are appearing on the screen right now, I assume. Um, we know that it's getting tougher out there. And we understand, you know, a lot of people have lost their jobs. And we're here for your entertainment. And, and we love that. But we've kind of lost the way to make our living, too. So if you could help us out with a nice contribution, I know that you will go to sleep tonight with that warm, fuzzy feeling, probably from alcohol. But if you gave to us, then it would be even warmer, fuzzier feeling of having contributed to a good cause, which is us. keeping us with yeah, a house, I, I would roof just, over our heads. I would recommend you fuzz the hell out of it. Amen. <laughs> and that comes from Mark Andrew Miller, everybody. Give him a big round of applause while you're at home. Cheers, everybody. Do we have any dancers in the yard yet? I don't think so. Do we? Oh, we do. Oh, nice. Uh, I'm glad. I'm so glad. We've been. Is the manglers out there? Oh, good. We have a we have brand new porch. The brand new porch. You know, it's, now you're walking in front of the camera again. I'm talking to these people. It's it's, it's like late night TV. I thought we were on a commercial. Well, yes, we are. We are on a commercial. Is this the part where we where we play the scary movie? <laughs> it totally is. God, I wish we could. It'd be cool to show a scary movie right now. Like five, five minutes of the creature from the Cre Black Lagoon. We're tons better than Sven Gulli. And I love Sven Gulli. Our, our guy was called Dr. Paul Bearer. <laughs> I love that. In, in Kansas City, it was a guy named Ed, Mc, Ed, 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 Ed Muscari was his name. <laughs> and he was Uncle Ed. He had 41 Treehouse Lane, Channel 41. It was a kid's show, cartoon kitty show, right? And he was Uncle Ed. Everybody knew him as Uncle Ed, but on Friday nights, he became Ed McScary. <laughs> and he showed a scary movie. Later on, in the 80s, after we all started taking drugs, he, he did a late night show that we all remembered of as Uncle Ed, but then he did all night live is what they called it. He had mm -hmm. a pledge. He had a pledge that said, I promise every night at 11 to tune in to all night live. A faithful viewer I will always be. I'm not handing you no job. Damn. All you people in the Kansas City area will remember that. That's like Beretta cool. Now, by that yeah, time, was he like Scary McScary Tennis? Like that? <laughs> oh, no, by that time, he was Creepy McCreepy and ended up uh, like being convicted of some sort of uh, illicit oh, okay. crime. <laughs> that was inevitable. Nothing it's to a see great here. story. There's nothing to see here. Move along. He, like he was still great viewing. Oh, like, do we have any more requests? In, oh, I'm sorry, Marty. It, Go ahead. In Washington, D.C., the uh, the scary guy. Uh, it was the most Washington, D.C. intellectual scary guy ever. His name was Gore Duval. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> Susan Rose said they had Dr. Cadaverino. Oh, that's, <laughs> that may win all. That may win the whole thing. Wow, that's good. Hey, yes, Phil Johnson. I'm getting your message right now. I totally remember the Sunset Trio. BR549 played a bunch of shows with them in the UK, and, you know, a lot of shit got broken. <laughs> what, what should we do? Okay, we had a request to do this song, and it's off of our newest record, and it's a song all about... It's actually a love story of sorts. Um, and it's about, No, no, no. Uh, if you go back, the one that we skipped, you'll see that it's... That it's a nice little, I'm trying to introduce this. I'm trying to do this like so that I don't say the name of the song so it looks professional. Anyway, it's a love story. Hit it, Marty. One, two, three. I'm a work down at the bird six nights a week. And the bikers and the businessmen, they marveled at her mystique. Well, they laid down their money just to watch her long disease.
worked the pole so mama wouldn't have to. do another song that's on the say that's on our new record too which you can buy on chuckmead.com in fact if you buy a record i'll send you a free t-shirt mm. but they'll be in two different packages that's because insane. it's cheaper that way okay you can't do that i can totally do you that. can't do that that's I, crazy how do we do it i don't know volume volume volume, volume. volume. Anyway, so go to chuckmeat.com, get one of our records if you don't have them, or you can buy a t-shirt. We got Big Bear t-shirts. They're cool. And we also are pre-selling Lil S.O.B. Jamboree t-shirts and bandanas. Going to be really, really cool. Call and pre-order. A lot of people have already called and pre-ordered. They're, they're in the works, right? They're in the works. They're totally in the works. And no, because I got to share that with Jason and Jim, so don't show that one. He's showing it. He's showing it. Why are you showing it? Well, yeah, sure, but right now I'm worried about our T-shirts, Marky. Uh, we're pre-selling the little SOB Jamboree shirts. I, I, is it up on the screen right now, Cowboy? You don't have a super of it this week? What happened to it? You were, Let's, oh, well, you know, we, we have a big guest coming up. For those of Let's, you that just tuned in, Catch Secord from Old Cole Mission Show is going to join us via Skype. And then, because it's a crossover episode. I'm going to join him on the Heartland Hootenanny. At Sam Drucker's place. At Sam Drucker's place. <laughs> That'll be at 7. They start at 7. Could you pick me up some pinto beans? I will totally pick you up some pinto beans, and I'll mail a letter. Will, will Frau Bluch be there? Bluch? Uh, <laughs> Sam Drucker's. Sam Drucker's. I forgot what we were Frau doing. Bluch. What are we doing? I'm looking at the request to the record. Oh, sorry. All right. So we're uh, so we're gonna do this song. It's called "My Baby's Holding It Down." Are you ready, oh, Marty? Yeah. Baby's holding it down. My baby's holding me down. And when I'm gone and I can't be found, my baby's holding me down. My baby says she's all right. You know 
she says is all right. Well, I know how it gets lonely at night. My baby says she's all right. But when the lights go out and we're all in love and thoughts become profile, she knows I'll be with you through the great unknown. My baby's holding it down, yeah. My baby's holding My baby suffers no fool. You know she suffers no fool. She plays it close to the vest and don't talk out of school. My baby suffers no fool. My baby stands on her own. My baby stands on her own. She don't need me to put. stands on the road But when the lights go out and we're all in love and thoughts become profound She knows I'll be with you the great unknown My baby's holding me down Yeah My baby's holding me down They fought the yelling rebels back from the fort upon the hill. Yeah, I fought them off with pick and axe. Brother, what I'm telling you is real. They shed a lot of blood up there, but in the end, they were standing up on Edge Hill. They settled in and settled down, stuck together, and built a town on that hill. Hard work pays the working man. Good times roll when you can pay the bills. They built their houses out of limestone up on Edge Hill. Saturday night they'd be down at Cotton's place Dancing and drinking and raising head Then get up and go to church on Sunday morning
got to close the stores to build the interstate through that hill. Then they tore down some houses and closed off some streets. That just made it easier to kill. But they're still sitting on their front porches looking out on what's left of Ed Chill. done that one a long time. Oh, I know one we haven't done in a while either. Hey, 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 Mr. Fox. Hey. Please don't be so slow. So long I forgot how to sing it. <laughs> I got time for one more round and a six pack to go. Tomorrow morning, Sunday, and I know I'll be feeling low. So hey, Mr. Bartender, I need a six-pack to go. Well, I've been drinking all night long, cutting up the town. I done spend my whole paycheck just to honky-tonking round. Well, I ain't got enough to pay my rent, but I don't worry me, though. I got time for one more round and a six-pack to go. Oh. Bartender, please don't be so slow. I got time for one more round and a six pack to go tomorrow morning, Sunday, and I know I'll be feeling low. So, hey, Mr. Bartender, I need a six pack to go. Well, I've been drinking all night long, cutting up the town. I done spend my whole paycheck just honky tonking round. Well, I don't have enough to pay my rent, but that don't worry me though. I got time for one more round and a six pack to go. Yes, I got time for one more round and a six pack to go. That was every time. No, it's all right. Forever. Mr. Bartender, it's all right. We got a lot of good things coming up, ladies and gentlemen. We're happy that you joined us here on the little SOB Jamboree. Um, it's it's kind of kind of quiet out there in the yard compared to what it usually is on Saturday night, but that's okay. Oh, look. Where are Oh, I hear I hear some applause out there. Where are you going, Mark? Oh, I see. Um, Uncle Andy. Hey, now. Hey, now. Right on. Who else do we have here? Um, 
Oh, somebody ordered an SOB T-shirt. Good. We'll take care of you. I know I know. Uh, a lot of people have pre-ordered. We don't actually have them yet. That's why it's called a pre-order kit. <laughs> so um, now that we're they're on the road to being made, we'll start sending them out as soon as we get them. I've kept track of everybody that's that's um, that's ordered one so far. Excuse me. Let's thank see. You. Oh, thank you. Okay. Bonnie Chapman wants to hear a little song called Tap Into Your Misery. I know that one. Awesome. You know that I know that. Wait, wait, wait. What key is that in again? The key of R. Are you ready? Yeah. Two, three, four, one. it with mine but just swallow your emptiness with the fruit of the vine tap into your misery the hundred proof kind life's full of heartache life's full of pain you feel like you're drowning in buckets of rain so pour me a long one and i'll pour out my heart that song on the jukebox will help the healing star but tap into your misery pull open that wine let it flow and mix it with mine But just swallow your emptiness With the fruit of the vine Tap into your misery The hundred proof kind Till the bottle's gone But then we'll order another And we'll pass it around We'll take all that burden And wash it right down We'll tap into your misery Pull open that wine Let it flow in and mix it with mine But just swallow your emptiness With the fruit of the vine Tap into your misery For the hundred fruit kind
It's the mangler saying thank you. Is do I hear a phone ringing? Is there a phone ringing? Do we do we is catch on the line? Oh, there's oh, a roll of thank you. We we just got some tips in here, catch. Pennies, pennies. pennies. I, I wish I could hear catch. Are you on? Can you hear me? Give me a single if you can hear me. Oh, I can't. He, he can, he can, he can totally hear me. <laughs> Two syllables. It's turned up. Potato chip. Yay. You you say you had the potato chips? Yeah, you got me loud and clear. Does that mean I'm on the show? You are totally on the show right now. We have potato chips on the line. Well, I'm so glad to be in the crib, man. Man, I wish you were here live at the at the old sh little shack out back. But, you know, I understand. We all got to stay away from each other for a while. But well, it's so good to see you, man. It's good to hear your voice. I mean, I, I say we're about a good six uh, feet away here between your, your part of East Nashville and mine, Chuck. At least. At least six feet. No mask. But if we went out, we'd have one. How are you on this fine summer evening, Catch? Well, I'm doing great. I'm cool uh, as a cucumber. And I'm wetting my whistle Ooh. Uh, because I'm so excited about this fun Saturday of getting to be on your show and then having you return the favor when you come on my show in a couple of hours. It's so nice. Isn't it great? That's the love. I do feel the love. Sincerely, I do. Hooterville. I'm <laughs> feeling it, too. <laughs> what are you, you going to play a song for us? Would you like me to? I would love for you to play a song. Okay. Well, let's see. Uh, you know, I'm always trying to promote something because I'm shameless like that. So let me tell you about the song I'm promoting right now. It's a brand new song that uh, we, we recorded right after the Super Tuesday tornadoes before uh, the lockdown happened. So uh, all of the money that's generated by the song, I mean thousands and thousands of dollars, if we're lucky, 
will go straight to the Community Foundation of Middle Tennessee for their uh, storm relief uh, charity. So here's our song. You can you can hear it tonight, and then you can go download it wherever great records are downloaded. Well, they said in whoa. All right, hold on now. I gotta remember what key it is. They say the spring marches in like a lion. And look at that wildcat wind that touched down with all of its ruin and rubble and rain. That's trouble in poor Nashville, my hometown. But ain't we gonna rise? Nashville rising. First time the hard truth stared our city down, and it won't be the last one that we'll overcome. See how the circle remains unbroken, law. See how these trials and tribulations make us strong. And ain't we gonna rise? Nashville rising. Ain't we gonna rise? Again. We're going to build it back together Better than it ever was Than it's ever been They say the spring marches in like a lion. And they say she walk away just like a lamb. Well, until that day, I pray God's gonna light the way and we're gonna shine my city up again and again. Ain't we gonna rise? Nashville rising. Ain't we gonna rise? Singing again, we're gonna build it back together, better than it ever was, than it's ever been, so much better than it ever was, than it's ever been. Ooh. Hey, could you hear me loud and clear out the chunk? Most of all, did you like it there at ground zero of the Super Tuesday tour? Catch, that was great. I love that song. That was really fantastic. And a great rendition, as always. And we over here in Tornado Alley appreciate that kind of help and that kind of a spirit, you know. We just now got the fence back last week, and now the porch is all fixed. Uh, and we got gutters with gutter guards, but now we don't really need the gutter guards because we don't have any trees. But thank you, and I appreciate what you did, and I appreciate sending all the proceeds to, to that great charity because there's a lot of people in North Nashville, our brothers and sisters in North Nashville, they got hit really badly too. So we can't get, get out of here without mentioning them. Well, that's true. But, you know, one of the things that was great about the tornado experience and sort of a, a silver lining uh, was uh, that it really brought us all together as a city right ahead of, uh, of, the COVID, of the global pandemic. So I felt like we sort of got a, um, a, an early taste of what it means to be unified in a time which, although we can't all get together, our spirits are really as one because we are all experiencing the same thing around the world. And Nashville coming together uh, really exemplifies what that spirit's all about. Well, you know, they do call it the volunteer state. And everybody really lived up to that, that, that name during that whole period. And, uh, yeah, we were already sticking pretty close together. 
Uh, now we have to stick together apart. Yeah. And then I'm also particularly glad to see our city sticking together to, uh, to confront and protest racism in our city and in our world. Absolutely. Absolutely. My feelings exactly. There are some people out there right now, I believe, uh, having a little, uh, you know, demonstration up there uh, downtown. And, uh, you know, my heart goes out to all of them, everybody, because I know I've benefited from the systemic racism <laughs> that has happened uh, throughout history, unknowingly, but I can acknowledge that I have benefited from it. And I just want to go on record saying Black Lives Matter right now. And I support everything that those people are trying to achieve. Well, let's hope they have a good, safe, and peaceful protest tonight downtown and that that spirit of civil disobedience prevails. Uh, and that uh, nobody gets hurt, um, but that voices are heard, and that on the other side of those voices, uh, real change can be uh, accomplished. You know, when it, when it all comes down, real change is a lot less sexy than burning your courthouse. Real change just looks like a signature on a piece of paper. So it's not as, a, it's not as much of a centerfold as, say, the big spread of smoldering ruins and whatnot, or, you know, defacing property. Um, but when it comes down to it, that's the thing I'm waiting for, is legislative change. You betcha. Well, those signatures don't make that great a TV. No. <laughs> but right now, we're doing TV. I want you to sing another song. Do you have another song ready for us, Catch? Well, I didn't have anything prepared, but I'm sure I'll come up with something. How about... From the great Atlantic Ocean to the wide Pacific shore. From the queen of the flowing mountains to the south bell by the shore. She's a mighty tall and handsome, known quite well by all. She's the combination of the Wabash Cannonball. Well, she rode on into the station on a cold December day. Stepped right off the platform, you could hear all the people say, There's a gal from the Tennessee, she's long, the Lord, she's tall. She came down from Birmingham on the Wabash Cannonball. Now listen to the jingle, to the rumble and the roar, as she glides along the woodlands, or the hills and by the shore. Hear the mighty rush of the engine, hear the lonesome hobo's call. She's riding through the jungle on the Wabash Cannonball. All right, are you singing along at home? Well, here comes my favorite verse. Now the eastern states are dandy, so the western people say. From New York to St. Louis, Chicago by the way. From the hills of Minnesota, where the rippling waters fall. No changes can be taken on the Wabash Cannonball. Now let's sing one for Roy Acuff. Now I really like this verse. I'll tell you a quick story before we sing this verse. On the night of my induction as a member of the Old Crow into the Grand Ole Opry, I went to pay a visit to the graveside of Roy Acuff before I headed down to the Opry House. I'm familiar with it because it's across the street from the Kmart that I like to frequent up on Gallatin Road. Anyway, I walked up to the graveyard and I laid a cake of rosin right there at the, the grave of the great Roy Claxton Acuff. And as I laid that cake of rosin there and said a few words of honor, prayerful words, a cream-colored Cadillac approached. Yeah. It drove right alongside the graveyard, right up to where I was standing by Roy Acuff's grave. Suddenly, an electric window rolled down from the driver's seat, and a grizzled-looking old man with liver spots all over his arms said, Great speckled bird! Yeah. It just seemed like a good sign. So let's sing this last verse for Roy Acuff, just in case he's tuned in to Chuck's show. Here it goes. Now he 
Here's to Daddy Claxton forever stand and he will be remembered through the courts of Alabama when this earthly race is over and the curtain around him falls we'll carry him off to victory on the Wabash Cannonball now listen to the jingle to the rumble and the roar as she glides along the woodlands o'er the hills and by the shore here's the mighty rush of the engine Hear the lonesome hobos call. She's riding through the jungle on the Wabash Cannonball. Yeah, she's riding through the jungle on the Wabash Cannonball. Thank you, Catch. That was a mighty fine rendition of that song. I love it. Thank you for coming on the show, man. And I'll see you in, I don't know, maybe an hour or so. Yeah, I heard you're going to be on the Heartland Hootenanny tonight. I cannot wait. I'm breaking out that arch top. Now, it's our 10th episode, and we're celebrating by throwing a self-isolation quarantine pub crawl. You can drink at home alone, too. I often do. Thank you, Catch. Chuck, hey, say hey to all the gang for me. I sure will. Hey, hey. Hey. And we're out. Welcome back, man. That wasn't that great of Catch to come over and give us a nice little Skype call. It's a good egg. He is a damn good egg. We sure appreciate it. But now don't forget to turn in to tune in to the Heartland Hootenanny, which starts at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, and I'm going to be doing a guest spot on that. So... Um, we have to remind you that we do accept contributions, and here there's comes another roll of oh, the there's a, a roll of some money. That's good. Thank you very much. You're going to go to heaven, Jan. That looks like a big bill. That looks like a, that's a that's a big president. Big president. It's like a William Howard Taft <laughs> president. Well, I think we had to do our quarantine hit. You guys, we have a, a bona fide quarantine hit on our hands. Don't you think we should do this? We've yes. had lots of requests to do this song, and uh, we're glad that you like it. Keep calling up your radio stations because they're actually playing this song. I was traveling along, playing anywhere I could, when along came a virus and took away my livelihood. Somebody picked it up and spread it worldwide. And now, for a while, we have to all stay inside. You ask me how I'm doing, and if I've washed my hands, and I said, listen, bud, I've had about as much as I can stand. I ain't been nowhere, man. I ain't been nowhere, man. Been throwing out my hair, man. Sleeping in my chair, man. Sleeping, I've done my share, man. I ain't been nowhere. I'm in the bedroom, bathroom, living room, dining room, attic, basement, just find an old room, hallway, driveway, same place as yesterday, go cook, read a book, jog around the breakfast, book, glass, think, get a drink, straight from the kitchen, think, I stink, think, think, and little cold stink, I ain't been nowhere, man, I ain't been nowhere, man, been sitting in my chair, man, growing out my hair, man, sleeping, I've done my share, man, I ain't been nowhere. I'm playing Yahtzee, Jigsaw, Scrabble, and Monopoly, Jenga, Checkers, Cars, Ginger, Man, and Eve, Fortnite, Minecraft, Grand Theft, Auto, Pi, Battleground, Pac-Man, Black Ops, Stay Alive, Obstacle Course, with Daddy's Old Golf Ball, Mousetrap, Ping Pong, Happy Hour, Zoom Call. I ain't been nowhere, man. I ain't been nowhere, man. Been sitting in my chair, man. Growing out my hair, man. Sleeping, I've done my share, man. I ain't been nowhere. I'm watching Netflix, Apple, Disney, and Amazon, YouTube, Roku, Hulu, Google, Jammies on, Tiger King, Shits Creek, Maze of Land, South Park, Star Wars, Star Trek, Ozark, Skin Dark, Pornhub, Bat, The Boat, Dirty Magazines, Lies Off, Quarantine, see what I mean now, I ain't been nowhere, man, I ain't been nowhere, man, been sitting in my chair, man, growing out my hair, man, sleeping, I've done my share, man, I go someplace you used to go, I ain't been nowhere.
So Ketch and I kind of got into it there. Uh, you know, I wanted to say, you know, that usually we have on this show, it's just all about fun and, you know, doing a little dancing and kind of dealing with the weird world that everybody's uh, been thrust into. Uh, but I do, I do want to say that uh, I'm not kind of shut up and play your guitar kind of guy, if you really know who I am. And uh, I just want to reiterate that unknown certain terms that I do support uh, Black Lives Matter. And I just want a little peace, love, and understanding. Don't you, boys? Yes. Well, let's do it. As I walk through this wicked world darkness of insanity I ask myself is all hope lost is there only pain and heartache and misery but each time I feel like this inside there's one thing I want to know what's so funny about peace love and Marlene, if you're watching, go, boy. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. Go, boy, go, love is easy, man. All you gotta know is the tricks of the trade. I said, tell you yes and no. And when you get the signal, go, boy, go. Well, hold it tight with all you might be different from the rest. And when and fear went to death. Too 
slow. And when you get the signal, go, boy, go. Smith must come. Mm. What do we got over here, cowboy? Oh, yeah. It's time for our sponsor, Shotgun Willie's Barbecue. Let's do it. Are you up there? <laughs> well, Shotgun Willie got a big bunch of barbecue. He got chicken, sausage, pork, ribs, and brisket, too. So you better get in line if you want it looks good for you. Real Texas barbecue slow smoked in the Music City. And boy, howdy, do they have all the meats you want. Brisket, pork shoulder, ribs, chicken, and sausage. Plus, they got delicious side dishes and homemade desserts that are made from scratch every day. Located at 4,000 Gallatin Pike, in East Nashville's friendly Inglewood neighborhood. Shotgun Willie's Barbecue's just down the street from wherever you are. Bill smokes it every Wednesday through Sunday, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., or until it's all sold out. Come on down to Shotgun Willie's. 4,000 gallon pipe. Let them put a little bit of the Lone Star State on your plate. It's the best barbecue east of Harris County, Texas. Oh, Shotgun Willie got a big bunch of barbecue. He got chicken, sausage, pork, ribs, and brisket, too. So you better get in line if you know what's good for you. Shotgun Willie's barbecue. Bill, I want a hat. Yeah, me too. We all want hats. We don't have a B3. There's only three of us. Oh, I said me three. Oh, we can B3. Oh, B, you three. Yeah, I'm, wor I'm, I working, just, I just, I'm working my way through that menu. I haven't had the brisket and the ribs. Oh, is it good? Oh, yeah. They, everybody says it's really, really great. Bill, I need, I need to get some. I guess I need to come down to the shop. I'll bring you some. 
I'm because, going down. Uh, you know, I've been hearing all about this brisket. You know, he trained with, with a guy in Texas, so he knows how he's to do He's from it. Texas. I know. He's from, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go there tomorrow. I'm going to bring you some. I'll okay. take care of it. That's a deal. Brisket. You brought it. Marky, I think it's time that you do a song, don't you? Don't, don't Encourage the, everybody oh. on the porch. Don't you want to hear Marky Why sing not? some, some garage not? rock and roll? Why not? Okay. Good. All right, tr- make everything louder than everything else. And uh, uh, yeah, we're singing. Isn't, al- that the, isn't that the title of your autobiography? Absolutely. Yeah, you guys, <laughs> you guys sing along on the second time around each time. Oh, the thing. What is it? The thing with the thing. You do the, the thing. Okay, go ahead. Do I start with the thing? Yeah. You want to do it? One, two, three. All right, here goes. I think you need to take a little breather there, Marky. No, you got all no. keyed up. No, no, we got 25 more, 30 minutes more. Something like that. Uh, do we have any requests, Cowboy? 
Uh, oh, I'm sorry. He's adjusting a camera right now. He's a, hey, let, let's, let's give a, a shout out to Cowboy Keith Thompson. He's, he's working four cameras and two mixing boards. And three dumbasses. And three dumbasses and a glass of whiskey. Oh, this just in. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. When the door opens, and the, the coins roll. And the extended thing. Um, I'm I'm uh I, I'm losing track of what. <laughs> that device, what is it called? It's like a a, so, a distant molester kind of thing. I'm trying to find out some uh some some requests here. Oh, I know, I know one. Is it emergency business quick quick delivery? All right. Um, let me try this. Holy shit! Look out! I don't oh, know. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. This this usually this usually means no good at all. Is it this? Is it this? All right, we had a request to do this song. Let's. I'll turn it down. I don't know. Ah. I just want to know. I just want everybody out there to know. My grandpa, who I wrote this song for, would crack up at the sound of me playing harmonica. On a slow train through Arkansas. There are three kind of passengers on this train. Jump, 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 Well, the first class people kindly remain. Jump, 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 jump. The second class walk through the bramble bush. The third class people have to get out and push that slow train. Thank you. 
I don't have a current reading on request, Cowboy, do you? Oh, good. I guess we're on our own. Yeah, I think we're going to cut it short tonight so that we can prepare ourselves for the Heartland Hoot Nanny. So uh, we're going to play about 10 more minutes. That gives us, uh, hold it, we should probably do this. We've got Uh about... Ten more songs to do down here. Well, don't worry about those ten songs. Oh, thank you. We're gonna we're gonna try this. Hold on. This is we're gonna be walking a tightrope in just a second. Oh yeah. Without a net. <laughs> well, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. Um, I I hope you all are in for you know. I hope you all appreciate what we're about to attempt. Doing it right now? We're gonna do it right now, don't you think? You sure? Okay. Uh, I, I'm gonna tune this thing up because I know it's gonna go out. Yeah, I gotta move loud. some stuff. Shit's, shit's gonna get broke. Uh, you want it louder? How could it possibly be any louder than that, Mark? He's gonna walk in front again. Watch this. Boom. I'll show you. Hi, folks. Um. All right. We're gonna try it. You guys ready? Two, three, four, one. Her man's been gone for nigh on a year. He was due home yesterday, but he ain't here. Her man's been gone for nigh on a year. He was due home yesterday, but he ain't here. La 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 
Have a remedy, little girl Ty. Why don't you stop all your crying? Here comes Iber, the dirty old sooty engine driver, to make you feel all right. My name is Iver. I'm an engine driver. I know him well I know why you feel blue Just cause he's late Don't mean he'll never get through He told me love you He ain't no liar I ain't either So let's have a smile For an old engine driver Let's have a smile for an old engine driver. We'll soon be home. Soon be home, oh Lord, we'll soon. Soon, soon, soon be home Soon be home Soon be home, oh Lord, we'll soon Soon, soon, soon be home Soon
You're all forgiven. Good night. We'll see you next two weeks. Little SOB Jamboree. That's a good ending. No. We actually kind of pulled it off. I thought it was good. I did a couple of those. <laughs>